If you've been around Osbury for a while, you'll notice that this is the first time that we've celebrated Lent. Celebrated is maybe not the right word, observed. You might be wondering, why are we doing this? You maybe thought it was Catholic and, or Eastern Orthodox or some, some other liturgical form. Why are we doing it in a Baptist church? When we look back at Christian history, we see Jesus being tempted in the wilderness as a pattern that Christians early uh, recognize as something, uh, a, a useful pattern to follow. Not necessarily that we need to replicate those exact 40 days of being in the wilderness and fasting and being tempted by the devil, but as a, as a symbol for the life of self-denial and following Jesus and being prepared and purified to walk in his ways and to take up our cross and follow him. So Christians early on uh, took that pattern and overlaid it on the calendar in the weeks leading up to Jesus's final week, his, his death and his resurrection. And so laying that over where we are as a church with Joel, the prophet calling people together to fast and to pray and to seek God that he would he would act and he would bring restoration and pour out his spirit and bring justice on earth. It seemed like a good time for us to, to disrupt our lives together and to draw on this ancient tradition and follow the pattern, looking for the promise that, like Joel said, uh, perhaps, who knows, God might turn and because he's gracious and merciful, uh, leave a gift and, and pour out his spirit. And so we're, we're looking to follow the pattern and to experience God's promise as we as we follow in the ways of Jesus and this old tradition. And so the staff has put together a path that would be uh, easy for first timers. I'm a first timer uh, observing Lent. There are personal uh, aspects where you can you can follow daily readings through the Gospel of John starting in chapter 13 and working to the back that'll go along with the sermon series. Uh, there will be questions for reflection, but then there will also be corporate elements to it. So on Ash Wednesday, there will be a morning and an evening uh, guided prayer time that you could you could kick off those 40 days with us. And then there will be three Mondays where we'll have a, a lunch time, uh, about a half hour of guided prayer. And then we'll have a worship night early in the 40 days. And then our Sunday morning services will have kind of a different flavor to them. As, as, it, as we together seek the Lord to fulfill his promises in us and through us, through Allsbury, to our community and to the world. I invite you to join us in this to whatever level you can. The personal options, the corporate options, even if you don't start at the same time that we do, there are many ways to, to join us on this path following the pattern of Jesus together.